what's up brownies it's a shan shanique and i'm going to start this hairstyle by using her nose as my guide to make a straight part going from the front of her head all the way to the rear nape of her neck next i'm going to make another part starting just above her eyebrow as a reference and i'm going to take this part all the way around to the center part we just made at the top of her head by the way, I am doing this hairstyle on freshly washed and conditioned hair. Her hair is damp. Now I'm going to make another straight part starting just above her ear and we're going to take this part straight across to the center part as well. Now I just want to give you another view of the separated sections that we have made so far. Next I'm going to be applying Uncle Funky's Daughter's Curly Magic Curl Stimulator to her wet hair. If her hair is not damp enough, I will be spraying water on it and adding the product because the product needs to be added to very wet hair. After adding the Curly Magic, I'm just going to brush her hair up and then I'm going to put it into a ponytail. I want the ponytail to be as close to the center part that we made as possible. Going to repeat those same steps for this rear ponytail. I'm going to saturate it with water, then I'm going to add a generous amount of the curly magic, and then I'm going to make her ponytail close to the center part that we made. Next I'm going to go back up towards the front near the crown of her head and I'm going to make a diagonal part. This will be a smaller section than the two prior ones and I'm going to make that part go up to the center part as well, making it into a ponytail. Now I'm going to repeat the same steps to the other side. I'm just going to extend the part that we already made to repeat the steps that we just did. Now I'm going to show you how both sides look so far. This is how it looks from the front. And now what I'm going to do, instead of just putting all of this into one ponytail, which you could do, I'm going to separate it out because for her it's a bit too much hair. So I'm going to make a V-shaped part on each side to part out another section of hair. And then we're going to put each of these two sections in a ponytail as well using the Curly Magic. Now I could stop here and just add some water and some more curly magic to all of her ponytails and let her have a real huge pretty afro, but because I know her hair is going to be hard to maintain that way, I've decided to take each uh, ponytail and divide them into separate twists and then she'll wear these for about five days and then I'll take them out and she'll have a really cute twisted out mohawk look. For the next five days, I will be using Uncle Funky's Daughter Glossy Finished Hair Polish. And I'll spray this on her hair every day just to add some moisture and shine to it each day. This is day five and before I remove her twist, I will be using Uncle Funky's Daughter's Defunct Hair Refresher Tonic on all of her twists. Once I've sprayed this thoroughly on all of her twists, I'm going to be using Uncle Monkey's Daughter Extra Butter Brilliant Shine Cream to remove her twist. Keep in mind, the longer you leave the twist in, the longer this hairstyle can last. 
I would allow my daughter to wear her hair with the twist in for a week or two and then wear the twist out maybe on the very last day before I take the hairstyle down. So that's it. I hope you guys love this hairstyle that's great for girls of all ages. I'd love to see your rendition of it on our Instagram. Just use the hashtag brown girls hair. We'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye, brownies.